Welcome back, everybody. We're back together here with another video. We're going to be talking about Taika Waititi, who was supposed to have a, uh, a Star Wars movie. We really don't know any details on it, but um, I believe they actually announced this movie like a while back and nothing has come of it. Uh, I believe that his uh, Star Wars movie is dead, but he made some um, controversial comments about his particular Star Wars movie. Now, when it comes to um, Disney Star Wars, OK, I truly believe that they really want to upset people with the garbage they have been putting out. Even um, Disney has come out. I know we weren't going to mention this, but um, Disney has come out and pretty much admitted that um, all the social agenda and stuff that they're pushing. They're putting that first over profits. They don't care about making any money. They don't care about pleasing any fans. And now Taika Waititi now initially said that um, his uh, Star Wars movie would piss people off. But he got a whole bunch of backlash on that. And now he says that um, he wants his movie to capture uh, the magic of uh, of the original trilogy. It's not going to happen. What do you think of that? I don't know much about his work. So um, Thor, Love and Thunder, that's all you need to know. Yeah. That movie was terrible. Yeah, I don't like it. So, um, but you said he directs some of the Mandalorian? Yeah, yeah. He directed some of the episodes of um, the Mandalorian in, uh, in uh, season one and two, and he played the, um, uh, the droid also. Okay, but then, I mean, I'm just afraid that he'll be, you know, he might be good. You know, directing Mandalorian, but then like he might be bad at doing Star Wars because look at Deborah Chow; he, she's very good at Mandalorian yeah. and the Man of High Castle. But when it comes to Obi Wan, that's totally Obi-Wan, different story. Obi Wan was a train wreck. Now that wasn't all Deborah Chow. She didn't um she didn't write the scripts or anything like that. She was directing. I mean, it was poorly directed too. I mean, Reva was god awful. But when it comes to uh, Taika Waititi here, OK, I'm getting a lot of uh, Ryan Johnson vibes. You know, Ryan Johnson, when it came to Last Jedi, want to subvert expectations. I was thinking, all right, Taika Waititi, is he making a Star Wars movie along the lines of a uh, Ryan Johnson? Which, uh, by the way, Disney has not said that um, his Star Wars movie isn't happening anymore. I'm getting the same vibe here with Taika Waititi. His Star Wars movie's not happening. I have a question. If you have a choice, would you pick him or Dave Filoni? For what? Star Wars. Star Wars? Yeah. Um, D- I'm going to say this about Dave Filoni. Dave Filoni only works when he has George Lucas. Now, he was collaborating with um, John uh, Favreau on The Mandalorian. I get that. Ahsoka was not very good. It did a lot of damage to uh, Star Wars. George Lucas would have not made uh, those type of uh, decisions, especially, you know, when it came to um, uh, Sabine. Mm-hmm. I don't believe George would actually do that. So Dave Filoni, has he done some good stuff? Yeah, I like Rebels. I really did. But, you know, Taika Waititi, he's directed some episodes I guess I can say I would rather have Dave Filoni than him because I don't like Taika Waititi's uh, Thor movies. I did not like uh, Ragnarok and I really hated Thor Love and Thunder. Mm -hmm. But Dave Filoni, of course, you know, he got this new promotion. Doesn't really mean much. You know, he's not going to be interfering with any of the stuff that um, these directors are going to be doing. So he's not going to be doing anything, really. But But don't you think that. Like, he has more to say now than before. I mean. I think he's just going to be able to give some input up front rather than coming in on the back end. That's pretty much it. He's not going to have any control. So, like, even a Taika Waititi Star Wars movie, Mm -hmm. he's not going to tell Taika Waititi, hey, you must do this with your Star Wars movie. Remember, even even, uh, Disney, Lucasfilm. They consulted with George Lucas on the rise of uh, Palpatine. That movie was a train wreck. Obviously, they didn't listen to him. So if they're not going to listen to George, you really think they're going to listen to Dave Filoni? Not really. No, of course not. I mean, 
he's not going to be able to capture the joy and entertainment of the original trilogy. It is not going to happen. I mean, nothing is going to, going to top the original trilogy, even the stuff that, um, that they made that I've liked, like, um, Rogue One mm-hmm. or Rebels. It's not close to the original trilogy. It's just not. They haven't made stuff better than on um, the prequels. I love the prequels. I mean, Revenge of the Sith, man, I'm starting to push that as my favorite Star Wars movie. Yeah, it's I, my favorite. I have it as number two, but man, I'm, I'm holding on by a thread. <laughs> But still, George is Star Wars. Without George, there is no Star Wars. You got Star Wars fractions, I guess you can say. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have no faith in this. I mean, even if this movie actually gets made, you were just bringing up um, before we were recording. Disney has lost like, what, $750 million? That was a Breitbart article. I believe it's more. It's over a billion. Yeah, $750 million across 13 film. Yeah. I believe that. Oh, that's for this year, right? 2023, I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They probably lost more than that because I saw the numbers of Breitbart. Their numbers are a little bit lower. I believe they're being a little bit generous, you know, on um, the break-evens and stuff like that. Yeah, but all this movie is this year. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, this year. But if you combine last year, they probably lost closer to... One and a half billion. I mean, they're just losing money like crazy. Taika Waititi and you know what? That mm-hmm. Ray movie coming out, mm-hmm. I don't think it's going to do well. I don't exactly know what's the next um, Star Wars movie coming out in theaters. I don't think there's really going to be any demand for it. Because The Last Jedi, Rise of um, Palpatine, nobody liked those movies. And the stuff they put on Disney Plus, nobody's watching it. Well, the main thing, don't you think, is that, well, as you said, one of the article is that like the Disney is going to focus on the social justice agenda over, you know, yeah, profit o- over profits. So that's the main thing that you know that destroyed Disney. Yeah, really. They're more concerned about uh, ESG scores and wokeness and things like that. But guess what? That does not. Turn a profit. And if you are an investor in Disney, you should be outraged. You should be thinking, man, I need to sell all my stock. I need to sue them because they're going out there deliberately trying to lose money. Yeah. But don't you think they should like reconsider like that their agenda doesn't work because they are like a big company. They 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 are not a small company. They don't care about that. They care about pushing their gender. They don't they're not concerned about profits. They made that pretty clear. If they were concerned about profits, I mean, think of this. Disney has flop after flop after flop. The only movie that's actually made some money, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. That's it. All of the other movies losing money, these budgets are completely out of control. We talked about that before. They don't care. So this Taika Waititi movie should not be happening. I mean, the Ryan Johnson movie. It's not going to happen. I don't believe this Taika Waititi movie is going to see the light of day. We don't even know uh, the general storyline on it. No, but. um, Not that I care either. I mean, I wish they, you know, if they're going to make a Star Wars movie, I was kind of looking forward about the the Old Republic. Old Republic? Yeah. That was like. They would um, mess that up, too. I don't know. Maybe. But they said they are going to play by a uh, Keanu Riff or something like uh, that. I don't past. know. I don't know about that. I believe that was like a rumor out there. That I don't think that was ever going to really happen. You know, a lot of people like the Old Republic. Um, I never really um, got into it. I was more into George's on uh, canon, and the Old Republic wasn't really his canon. You know, George approved of that stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, remember, D- Disney bought it and they decanonized all that stuff. They kind of like threw it out into Legends and changing up stuff. So, man. But anyway, what do you guys think of this? What do you guys make of Taika Waititi backtracking now? Because he got a lot of he caught a lot of heat for saying that um his movie would piss people off. I don't think he's going to see the light of day. He's just trying to save face. Maybe he's thinking maybe one day I'll do it. But I don't think so. So, yeah. Anything else you want to add or that's going to wrap it up? Yeah. Okay, guys. Make sure you guys. 
hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new here on the channel. Become a channel member. Drop a super thanks. And we'll catch you on the next video tomorrow. Goodbye.